The Bono Ahafo region recorded 919 cases of teenage pregnancy in 2015. Ho recorded 398, while Not Tong recorded 87. At 17 years, Teresa is six months pregnant. She has walked three kilometers from Apimso to Kwabia to visit her classmates. Teresa tells of the love story that has led to her pregnancy. Dropping out at the junior high level, she has no intention of going back to school. Rather, she intends to learn a skill, preferably sewing. Rebecca is also just 18. She is in the Form 2 at the JHS level and four months pregnant. Unlike Theresa, her dream to become a nurse is hinged on her determination to deliver her baby and hopefully get back to the classroom. Considering that these young girls find themselves in such deprived communities, poverty is usually blamed for the increasing number of teenage pregnancies. But the people in the community tell of a different story. It's not what you give to the girl that will make her love you more. But the love is there. Whether you have money or not, the love is still there. In the evening like this, you, you don't have any place to go. So all you have to do is call your girlfriend and maybe you'll be in your room. And if you are in the room too, you know what will happen. I think that's also part of the problem. Mibia Ali is a 28-year-old taxi driver with a notorious nickname as a community playboy. The unfortunate tale is told of how young girls will give anything for favors from young men. I was in school before, but I stopped it because in farm tree I have pregnant. So I went, I went to my parents and told them that I'm pregnant. So they tell me that I should stop the school. When we are going to farm tree, the registration fee, they haven't given me one. So I try my best to get the registration fee. The boy told me that. If I give her a six, he will give me the money to register the registration fee. It was 40 Ghana cities. It is the irresponsible parents. They don't care about where their children are. And then, at times, too, what I know is this. It also leads to poverty, whereby parents are not prepared to take care of these children. You see, as time when we talk about this uh, parent neglect, they, they neglect their children. Some of them even don't know where their children sleep after eating. Could you believe that a, 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 a mother would tell a, a, a child, eh, don't you see the, the type of a, a shirt a Amma is wearing? Or what can't you do that? That means the, the mother is telling the, the child, what is the mother telling the child? Go out and look for money. It appears there's a long road ahead in finding a solution. The girl child officer for Kintampo South says a major hurdle is the late enrollment of girls into school. She said government at the moment is providing basic items such as sanitary pads for girls in school. This is expected to minimize their dependence on young men for some of these items. But the issue is bigger than that. The treaties that we have, that Ghana have signed to, are supposed to help us in ensuring that uh, children have uh, an improved well-being. Just that implementation sometimes we have challenges. For instance, Ghana was in fact among the first or is the first country to have signed the Convention on the Rights of the Child. And then following up on that in 1998 we had the Children's Act. And since then we have had so many legislations that uh, are supposed to protect children. 
But uh, we are still aware, for instance, uh, the issue of child marriage. And the children we are referring to, children, uh, people below the age of 18. So if we have an act that stipulates the age of marriage is 18, why are we having children marrying below the age of 18? The same act talks about the age of consent, 16. So for me, I think that uh, it is my opinion, in fact, that we need to streamline the age of consent with the age of marriage. If we have the age of consent at 18 and the age of marriage at 18, I believe it would be very helpful to us. The difficulty sometimes have to do with determining the age of the child. Many of them do not have birth registration. They don't have birth certificates. So how do you determine, is it by the body mass of the child that you use to determine that this child is 18 years? How do you do it? So I want to believe that even in as much as we are advocating for streamlining the age of consent with the age of marriage, we should also have a very vibrant system in place that registers all children so they are able to use the registration of the child to determine how old or how young the child is. Whether it's our laws that need to change or the definition of what love is to a teenager, one thing is clear, teenage pregnancy must end if we are to meet some of the sustainable development goals. Jason Amo for TV3.